All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out this awesome semi tow truck. I think it's called the Jordan 5060, and this is an alpha release. Now, this is by another YouTube channel called Fun Physics, and this vehicle will eventually be available for free. So go over there, sub to their channel, check it out. But yeah, right now it's in paid early access. Now it is pretty bare as far as the cab, but I must say the actual features of this truck are amazing. So yes, all the outriggers work. We do have triggers here. We can open up like the sides. Uh, we do have a underlift. You've got a boom arm here. There's triggers on these uh, little hooks. So you have to manually node to the vehicle you're towing. But if you click those boxes, uh, it will disconnect the node itself, uh, which is really cool, which I think we have a call for a broken down truck on the highway. So yeah, it looks like the local PD is already out there kind of uh, warning people that there's a broken down truck, and I think we're going to need to go pick it up. Also, ignore the whole fact that it's running. We'll say the transmission's bad or something. So yeah, it's going to be up to us to go down there and rescue that thing off the highway and show you guys how this works. Also, there's some of the engine detail. Uh, you can click the button up here and that will open uh, the whole like hood compartment. Now, I must say, like I said, no cab right now, no working lights. This is a alpha mod. And yeah, so it's going to it's going to have a little bit of work. Now, if you're not familiar with Fun Physics, uh, we've actually checked out uh, one of their creations before. They created the massive boat, the like tugboat. That was a wonderful mod and I think they're eventually going to release this one for free when their channel gets to like 20k. Uh, but yeah, it is in paid early access if you guys want to try it out. So yeah, look at the four-wheel steer in the front. That is honestly cool. Why would you pull out in front of a truck like that? Come on. All right, I probably need to set a route out there real quick. There's uh, a lot of traffic here in the city today. So yeah, we're going to need to go down. Uh, we need to get on the highway and go, I'm going to assume, is that northbound? Do we know? Like, as far as this highway layout, like, which way we're aimed? Well, actually, we're on West Coast, USA. So I'm assuming that's off the coast there, so that maybe that's west. Maybe we're heading south, so it might be northbound. But yeah, it will be cool once this thing gets, like, actual, like, tow lights, like, little caution yellow lights. I don't believe those are active at all. Uh, I know there's no headlights, and oh my goodness, it is just, like, gridlocked here today. Come on! I gotta get moving, gotta get this truck off the highway. But yeah, I'm really super excited to see mods like this. Like, this is a dream mod. I love the idea of having a massive tow truck like this. Now, the T-Series remake has a couple, like, uh, flatbeds, uh, but nothing quite like this. And yeah, I think this is probably one of the first diesels I've seen like this in the game. Now, I know there's been a couple of D-Series mods where it's the normal truck tow vehicle. Yo, the steering is, like, so good on this. Like, it, you would think, oh, no, this thing isn't going to turn very well. But with the four-wheel steering up there in the front, uh, this thing, it cuts around corners actually really well. Uh, coming up to a stop sign here. Let the traffic go through. You guys have the right-of-way, and we're going to take a right here. But, yeah, definitely go check out their video. They had a, uh, a point where they spawned in two of these, and they used the boom arms uh, to really pick up a vehicle. Like, this uh, boom arm can go all the way to the left and to the right, too. So if the vehicle is kind of up against a wall, uh, which we'll probably try to demonstrate that. I don't think I'll be able to do it with the diesel uh, because I need a little bit of space to put out the outriggers in the back and you've got the side ones. So we're going to try to do like a normal tow with this and then maybe we'll stick a vehicle, maybe a crash vehicle. Uh, we're coming up on a highway accident or something and we'll have to pick up uh, one in like an odd spot. Okay, I see our broken down semi. Uh, we got highway traffic just stopping. You guys do not want to stop in front of a tow truck like this. Uh, we will <laughs> run you over and destroy you. All right, so here we go. So we're going to try to get an angle here. Uh, cops block in the right lane uh, to try to prevent traffic from stacking up. But here, let's go back this way. So uh, the control breakdown, uh, you can learn the hotkeys. Uh, the author of this does a really good job in their YouTube video breaking it down. Uh, you can also pull up the special keys menu. Uh, so I'm not going to use the outriggers here because I don't think I really have enough room. And it's probably not even necessary. So I want to get the underlift under the tires. We're going to wrap around those. Uh, it is suggested to connect the nodes to the underlift, which is the big bar you see in the back. And then we'll use uh, the winch to also have like an extra layer of security here. Okay, so we're gonna go control numpad down. So you see there's the underlift hall. Let's get a little bit better view of it here. So here we go, that's gonna start to go down. So yeah, we're gonna wanna put this down on the ground here. We're gonna drive backwards to get 
uh, under the front axle of the truck and then we'll use the little looks like side handlebars uh, those will need to touch the tires the front tires and the back ones should go around it might not wrap around a truck as easy I'm gonna try not to, actually let's make the whole thing go down a little bit I'm trying not to rip the front bumper off of this truck obviously we're a tow truck driver it's our responsibility not to completely tear up the the uh, the vehicle here all right, so keep backing up, back up. Okay, we've cleared under here. Okay, we are touching. Okay, so we've gotten under that. We have a wheel lift. I don't know if it's enough to hook. Yeah, because these are going to need to go out. Uh, we can see if this will actually do it here. See, so you can swing these out. Uh, it's close. Uh, oh, I mean, kind of not in the best position here. Uh, it would work really well with the normal size vehicle, but we're doing something a little bit more extreme. I'm gonna back the truck up a little bit more. Uh, so we can kind of get that under there. There we go. Okay, that's under now. Uh, so yeah, we need to connect these via nodes for a little added security here. Okay, so we have those on. What we're gonna do next, let's go ahead and disconnect these. Uh, we could probably extend the boom out a little bit. We want to extend it out, maybe raise it up. Uh, just a bit not gonna use the outriggers here on the highway. Uh, we are already blocking traffic, but this is fine I'm having fun. This is actually really really awesome. Okay, it's gonna be boom up and then we need to go boom out so we're gonna go alt and There we go. Oh Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and make the Actually the hooks are probably in a decent spot here. Uh, you probably would be hooking on maybe down in the little holes here Because I think that leads to the frame uh, do we want to do that? You know, maybe we should. So yeah, you can make the uh, the hooks go down with one and three uh, in the alt and numpad. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop these. Let's give them some slack real quick. We'll swing them off. We'll hook into the front bumper, uh, and then we'll try to lift the whole thing up, and then we'll try to take it back to the logistics center. No, it's a little bit of a different episode here, but I'm I think this is so cool, like to cover. And it's not like your normal, like, oh my god, we're smashing everything episode, but it is. Trust me, this is something I've wanted for a while. Okay, I'm going to put that one there, and then we are going to move the blue hook up just a little bit too. Okay, so we got these in a position where I think, here, we'll node these to here. So, like I was saying, the box that's on these, it's like a trigger, so you can actually get it to uh, release by clicking it. So, say if you hook it into the wrong node, it's really, really, like, super useful here. All right, so those are hooked up there. So, what we're going to do, let's go ahead, uh, we're going to go back to Alt, and we're going to put, actually, get rid of the slack here in the line. There we go. All right, and then, yeah, we want to lift the underlift up. That way we can get the front of the truck off the ground. I need to make sure the truck's in neutral. It's obviously running right now, so we'll need to turn it off. So here we go. Lift that up slightly there. Okay, under. Oh, that looks so good. Raise the whole thing up there. Okay, and that's good. We'll stick the boom up just a slight bit just to get rid of that slack. And then I'll tighten the lines. That way we've got double security here. Uh, but we're almost ready to move. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Hold on, let me go up here into the cab uh, real quick, make sure we're all good. Uh, this thing needs to be off, so let's go ahead and go engine off. And we need to throw it into neutral real quick, so it's in neutral. Uh, parking brake is released. All right, we're good. Okay, so we're just going to hop back into this, and we should be good to move. Uh, I want to be careful with the load here. Uh, back tires are touching, so let's go ahead and start to move forward. And would you look at that? We are towing a T-Series. This is uh, working out pretty well. I think I did decent there. I mean, I might have screwed something up, but uh, this is amazing looking. So yeah, the towing power on this is amazing. So this engine here has 700 horsepower. Uh, I think they said, uh, the author said that these trucks in real life have about 600, but it gave it a little bit of extra power just to have it. Uh, don't even have to lock any of the differential or anything. Like, we're good. This thing's rolling really nice here on the highway. Uh, let's set a GPS route, that way we can navigate uh, some of the streets here. And then we'll go out on another call and maybe pick up like a wrecked vehicle in a little bit, uh, I would say, worse spot. Okay, so that is set. This would be awesome in career mode if this was like a vehicle in the game and we had missions around uh, picking up vehicles like this. I know you've got the other flatbed, which works really well, uh, by the way, the one that is default to the T-Series, but... I mean, this just adds something to BeamNG that I feel like it actually really needs. Okay, I'm going to try to watch the traffic here. We're really... Uh, why are you hitting the brakes like that? 
Yeah, we're a really long load here. Let's go ahead, probably slow it up a little bit for the bridge. Obviously, we got brake checking uh, traffic, uh, so I have to go around them here. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to go too fast. I don't know if this is really in danger of tipping. Like, I, I would say if you rounded a corner too fast, maybe, but uh, this is a heavy vehicle. Now, question is, how top heavy is it? I'm not really 100% sure. Oh my goodness, the traffic, it's, uh, what is going on? I thought it would just look really nice in this episode to have a ton of highway traffic, like driving around as we do our job here. <laughs> but I feel like they've caused me, uh, they've caused me more pain and misery here. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just drop off up here. I mean, we've shown that this thing is capable of uh, running around with this truck on the back of it. Turns just fine. Uh, I think the four-wheel steering in the front is genius. Like, it works so well uh, with this particular vehicle. So just to prove, uh, we're going to take a... Here, let's take a right here. It's kind of a little bit sharper corner. And there you go. Uh, it did lean a little bit there, but... I mean, it's having no issues. So say, I don't know, we want to dump this thing off right here. We can just stop. Probably want to apply the parking brake. That way it's locked down. So yeah, you would just drop the underlift down. You would disconnect these using these little triggers. Uh, lower it down and you would release the uh, little wheels here. Uh, mine's kind of morphed into the, uh, the fender a little bit because of the turning. But yeah, you can uh, use this and it'll fold them back and you would release this vehicle and it'd be good to go. But, I want to see this thing take on something that is a little bit harder to get to. Alright, we've got a report of a crash out at the drag strip. One of the cars has launched itself up on the barrier, so this will be a little bit trickier to pick up. And we'll get to actually use the outriggers. Uh, probably, well, obviously you can't pick it up uh, from front to back here. Uh, so we'll need to come in from the side, lift up the vehicle, and just tow it back. I'm hoping that the AI doesn't show up here. All right, so we're gonna pull down here. We'll get up to the side of it here. Uh, we'll kind of block the road just in case the AI starts to appear. I don't want anybody like between us. I gotta give the uh, the arm or the boom arm enough room to move over. So probably hit it about right here ish. All right, so parking brake is on. So yeah, now we want to elevate the truck and secure it. Uh, so we have the side outriggers. So, so we'll hit. Shift and I think it's gonna be zero or O. There they go. Okay, so those are gonna go out. Uh, probably don't need to use the rear one. There is an outrigger for the rear of the vehicle that you can use. All right, so those are all the way out. Uh, so we wanna go down, so it's Shift F. And then it's gonna hit the ground and you can see the truck lift up slightly. So I think we're secure. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and do those back ones when we, cause that boom's gonna be moving around a little bit. And I want to make sure that those are also secured. So let's go shift H and just secure the back end of the vehicle here. Uh, oh, there you go. Fun physics. Subscribe to the channel. So this version of the full version can become free for everyone. All right. So that is secured there. All right. So we're going to move our boom arm up and then we're going to go out. So here we go. Oh, might want to disconnect them here. There we go. All right. Those are disconnected. So shift or actually, that's Alt-8, and then we are going to rotate this thing uh, over to the side here. So, yeah, we have full range here. I don't know if... I mean, I'm assuming it's got 360 uh, control. I don't know. It might hit the front toolboxes. It might have, like, a stop uh, here. We're almost... I think I want to hook this up by the roof. Like, we're going to lift the car completely up. I'm not going to try to hook it onto the back. Uh, so, let's keep going here uh, a little further. We'll send the boom arm out. That way we're over the roof. We'll lower the winches. Actually, I might not even need to do that. So we'll go boom out. So there it goes. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so that is out. And we need to... Uh, let's go out just a tiny bit more. All right, so we're almost ready. Uh, let's go ahead and lower our hooks. So it's going to be seven, eight. Okay, so we got this. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab this. And we're going to hook it here. Oh, that might have broken. I mean, the vehicle's already pretty broken, so I'm not really worried about it. And then we'll hook this one down here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and go boom up. So let's go alt and eight. There you go. It is lifted. Let's go ahead and get it pretty high up. And then we're just going to dangle it probably off the back of this thing. Uh, we probably want to put the boom in a little bit. Okay, actually, I think I need to go out with it here, and we're going to start to rotate it to the back. I just want to hang it off the back of the vehicle here. Uh, oh, buddy. All right, let's try not to clip the arm here. 
And then, all right, so that should be, it's far enough out, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna go this way, and then we'll start to go down. Are we even? Uh, it's almost in its return position. And then we will go ahead and lower the boom. So it's gonna be two. I uh, gotta keep it elevated somewhat. And yeah, I think we're ready to move this thing. This is a completely total vehicle. You'd probably be lifting it up onto a flatbed, opposed to what we're doing here. But obviously, we don't have a flatbed on scene. Uh, so we're good. We're just gonna let me do the side outriggers first. Uh, make those go up. So it's gonna be shift T. It's gonna lower the vehicle. So make sure those are all the way up. And then we're gonna use shift I to put them in to their spot. And then we're gonna lower the rear and then should be able to drive off here. I don't foresee this being an issue with this particular vehicle. Okay, here we go. We're lowering to the ground and those are gonna return to their position there. And uh, yeah, we should be ready to drive off here. Okay, so let's go ahead and drive off. I do like when you attach stuff to this, like it does shift the camera back so you can kind of see your load and what you're carrying. And yeah, we are ready to drive off here and we have successfully retrieved another vehicle. So yeah, I really just wanted to highlight this thing. This is a very awesome mod here in BMG Drive. Even in its current alpha state, it's only going to get better. Uh, so like I said, it does have paid early access, and it will become free once Fun Physics reaches 20k, which I do highly suggest. Go check out their channel. They've got a lot of cool builds uh, here in BMG Drive.